what time period are you a part of? Uh, we're representing the Spanish-American War, 37 to 39, in particular the Mackenzie Papineau Battalion. Awesome. So could you tell me a little bit about your outfit? Sure. So, like I said, representing the Mackenzie Papineau Battalion, they were a unit of volunteers from Canada who fought in the Spanish uh, Civil War on the side of the Republican uh, forces. Uh, the uniform I'm wearing is kind of a mix mash of what the army had available because unfortunately when the war broke out, most of the army turned Turk and fought for the other side. Uh, so there are different types of trousers. You can see with the other guys here, different types of coats, uh, civilian caps and foreign helmets, whatever they could get their hands on. Uh, the one thing that they did have in uniform was they all carried the same arms. Mosin the Gant rifles shipped over from the Soviet Union. Wow, awesome. I notice you have two little pins right here. Are those yes. of any significance? Uh, those are the army pins, although on many pictures you don't see them on the uniforms because uh, the men had a habit of taking them off and giving them to sweethearts or children on the march. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Um, I notice you've got little boxes on either side of you. Yep. What these would those are, be holding? These are cartridge boxes. You carry your ammunition there and then there's one on the back for spare ammunition. Awesome. Could you walk me through what's going on in the camp here? So we're just typical living. We've got a stove over there to make ourselves uh, some food when we can. Uh, one thing that was definitely short in the Republican forces was good food. Uh, in fact, one of the most common meats that was consumed when you could get it was burro, donkey meat. Uh, this is probably a little bit more of a rear line, nicer setup of what the men would have had. Uh, they're hanging out, they're cleaning their equipment. Uh, these men, a lot, they came from all sorts of walks, all sorts of types, uh, but they were unified together in their cause, and one of the ways they showed it was often through song. Uh, the Communist Party printed out song sheets, and uh, to this day, if you go to Spain, you can hum some of these tunes and the people hum it right back at you. Do you want to give us a demonstration? I cannot carry a tune with a bucket, uh, but Woody Guthrie actually does a number of the songs. Uh, probably one of our unit favorites is Viva la Quinta Brigada, which is uh, Long Live the 15th, which is the brigade that we are part of. So I notice you're all wearing different hats. Do the mm -hmm. hats have significance? Not at all. Like I said, <laughs> they're grabbing it from anywhere they can, so some of them are wearing locally produced, some are wearing civilian style caps, uh, some of them are wearing whatever they brought with them. Berets were very popular uh, because most of the men had to travel through France and they were told, ditch the uh, North American caps, get a beret, look like a Frenchman. Because uh, what they were doing was technically illegal. Okay. So I see on the poster it says um, 1837 as your starting date. Well, Why is that? the reason for that is the name of the unit, the Mackenzie Papineau, it's hearkening back to a century beforehand, the two rebels of 1837. Uh, Mackenzie in Upper Canada and Papineau in Lower Canada, who really paved the way for responsible government in Canada. Because even though they were unsuccessful, it did cause a, a chain reaction that instituted reforms and gave us the democracy we have today. Um, so it's the Swiss version of the MPO-8 heavy machine gun that was mainly used in the First World War. Um, it is a belt-fed uh, air-cooled machine gun, um, mainly used you gotta remember during the Spanish Civil War they were using a lot of uh, random equipment that were sourced from different areas so this wouldn't be out of common to see or um, Russian Maxim guns or even American Model 1917 rifles. I mean machine guns. Yeah, this is, uh, we're able to, as you can see, uh, fire this in a simulated way. Uh, my name is Daryl Learn and I am from Welland, Ontario.